Warning! This video contains opinions. If you don't like opinions, please click away this video right now. Welcome to another episode within the Guts and Black Powder tier list series. Today, we'll be ranking all the weapons in game, and this means items that actively deal damage to the zombies. So, no siege armor or water bucket, for example. Remember to join my Discord as always, and there's a link in the comments. Saber, B tier. Just your trusty old Saber, pretty much the default weapon. Not great or special by any means, but it's just the all rounder. And X, A tier. Deals more damage than the Saber and swings a lot faster, making it more useful when dealing with shamblers and runners. It is not S tier, however, as the overhead strike can be a bit goofy and the debuff against sappers is really shit. X, B tier. An excellent weapon for the Sapper class, and deals tons of damage and the shove feature is excellent as well. The axe is quite slow though, but it's understandable considering the weight. Heavy Saber, D tier. Listen, as the newest melee in the game, I wanted to like this guy a lot more. But the sideways attack is just so bad and barely deals any damage. The range on the Saber is very nice, but the swing rate is slow and I just feel like even the upper head slash and downward slash just aren't good enough due to it being so slow. Pickaxe, A tier, great weapon. Pretty much the same as the axe, but way more damage, which is better for hordes. Also, it is very OP in PvP mode, as it can one-tap players if they're not wearing any siege armor. If it is better than the normal axe, I'll let you all decide in the comments down below. Steak, delicious leg, F tier. I mean, come on, you might as well go around tickling the damn zombies. Of course, it had to be a little on the weaker side to not make priests too OP, but still, it's the worst melee in the game nonetheless. And the same goes for the sledgehammer, I cannot handle this thing. Pike, S tier. I love this weapon, it's so fun to use, and if you angle it correctly, you can hit the zombies' heads, thus dealing insta-kills, and the reach and the speed are excellent too. The unique flags depending on the nation you pick the lancer from are a nice touch as well. Musket, B tier. Good old trusty musket. Pretty good as a rifle, but it's the bayonet that elevates it, making this both a melee and a ranged weapon. Carbine, A tier. The reload speed and penetration on this gun are excellent. The shove is nice, but to be fair, I don't use it that much. Still a great rifle aside from that. Pistol, C tier. This is an interesting one. It is not a bad gun at all. But for me personally, I just don't find myself using it at all anymore because of a certain other gun on this list. If you don't have the set gun yet, this is a great option. But for me personally, I just don't use it anymore. The evasive aspects for this gun are great. Same for the reload time. Thunderbuss, B tier. A great weapon if you know how to use it. Amazing for crowd control, not so amazing for shooting bombers next to your teammates. If you're using it for cramped areas and no teammates are near this gun, it's pretty good. Not gun, D tier. I can finish college, find a stable job, find the girl of my dreams, marry her, buy a penthouse, start a family of four, and the knockdown would still be reloading! This would be okay if I actually noticed the difference between the knock gun's shot and the blunderbuss, which I don't. Rifle, C tier. Line infantry proves itself to be the favorite child among the classes because this is one of the two weapons that has been added in the recent update for this class. I have no strong feeling about this weapon. The zoom in scope feature is nice for sniping bombers and hordes though, and the reload time is the real boss kill here. Horse artillery pistol, B tier. I've been using this rifle as my main rifle for line infantry recently, and it's not that bad. The dual barrel is excellent for snapping bombers more accurately than the final weapon real rank, which is the double barrel pistol, S tier. The best gun in the game. Even with double barrels, the reload time is acceptable for me, and way better than the horse artillery pistol. With guns, reload speed is what you need the most, and this gun offers just that, as well as double firepower way better than that of the horse artillery pistol in my opinion. So, if you had to choose between the two, my advice is to buy the double barrel pistol. And that was the tier list. Do you agree or disagree? Make sure to let me know in the comments. Until next time.